woman at go. the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Daniela, Houston police got called to this street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, this criminal investigation because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. He got alerted earlier today um, that Miss Osmond, that brick lady, was planning to surrender and turn herself in because she's wanted for theft in Harris County. Uh, we were re uh, contacted by the new Black Panther Nation and Quan X because uh, he was contacted by her for help and, and to arrange the surrender. So it was our understanding that that was supposed to happen at 345 today. You can see right now it's that time has passed. And as we arrived here at Houston Police Headquarters today, we got another alert that Miss Osmond, Brick Lady, is a no-show. She decided to not surrender. I spoke with Candace Matthews, part of the New Black Panther uh, uh, Nation, and she told me that they had an agreed meeting location today. They were supposed to be uh, meeting with Brick Lady and then bringing her here for the surrender at Houston Police Headquarters, but they say she didn't show up. And Candace Matthews tells us that this is really the first time that something like this has happened. Uh, people reach out to them often. You know, we are usually aware when they've been contacted and, and sometimes, you know, they, they do arrange for surrenders and then tell the media and provide comments uh, in person. So we were expecting exactly that to happen here at HPD today. But again, a little bit weird. Uh, something changed. We don't know what changed. And so now, uh, Brick Lady remains on the run. Uh, she appears to have gone private on Instagram. We have not been able to successfully reach her. Grew up and they mad because you trying to be somebody. They mad because you trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be a doctor and they mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They don't beat me up. I'm 30 years old. They don't beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up for no reason. Look at me. I'm not a bad person. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm a good person. And they try to do this to me. Have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Literally a man asked me for my number. I said no. And he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you gonna do? And I told all these men like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? In the video, you can see the woman very, very swollen. At one point, she was confronting people that were around the area where she alleged that she was hit, saying, hey, why didn't you help me? Why didn't you help me? She also recorded another video where she was in the hospital uh, and she was very upset about being hit in the face with a brick and nobody helped. See some things from her past that she that she has done similar things like this before, approaching people, uh, saying derogatory things to them. Maybe somebody got fed up. Some people was even alleging that the whole thing was photoshopped. So the woman went ahead and posted a police report and she also posted her hospital record showing that she had been treated for this injury. And she also posted a GoFundMe where she was asking for donations for her recovery. And she repeated the story that she was hit in the face uh, by an unknown man with a brick. But baby, now officers of the goddamn law have come out and alleged that the lie detector has determined that what the brick lady said happened was a lie. She did get hit in the face, but it wasn't with a brick and it wasn't by an unknown man. So according to charging documents on September 3rd, Houston police officers responded to an aggravated assault incident where they met with the brick lady and her female friend. Now they claim that she was intoxicated, hostile, and very irate. The brick lady told officers that she was walking down the street when an unknown man threw a brick at her when she would not give him her phone number. She also told officers that she had ordered an Uber and believed that the brick throwing suspect was the Uber driver. Uh, she said that she got into the car with him where he tried to kidnap her 
and stated that uh, he, she believed that the suspect was involved in human trafficking and had a large group of women in the car with him. Now, this is where things get sticky. Of course, with this video going viral, the police are trying to get to the bottom of it. So they called the phone number that was provided by the brick lady in which they reached her friend who was also at the scene. And she told a completely different story from Miss Osmond. She said she wasn't from the area that she and uh, the brick lady had went out to several places to drink. She said that uh, Miss Osmond, because they were under the influence, called her friend to pick them up. Now, when the vehicle arrived, they both got into the vehicle. She said that she got into the front seat and the brick lady got into the back seat. And while they were driving, she heard the brick lady say, ouch, why did you hit me? She also stated off the record that she did not believe that the brick lady was hit with a brick. She said that the suspect that allegedly hit Miss Osmond got out of the vehicle, got into another vehicle, and then drove off. She said that Miss Osmond then went on Instagram, and that's when she tried to convince Miss Osmond to call officers of the goddamn law. The friend said that she did not know the two men she got into the car with and would not be able to positively identify the suspects involved. Now, they were eventually able to get a hold of Miss Osmond a couple of days later where she told a couple of different stories. Now, at first, she stated that uh, she thought that the dark color sedan was the Uber that she got into and that's when she got hit and then she went back and stated that she was assaulted at, an, at a lounge. So this prompted detectives to pull surveillance footage and when they pulled that footage, they saw a, the story kind of aligned with what the friend said. Now the brick lady went on to say that she had done her own investigation and determined that the man that assaulted her was named Olin Douglas. She didn't indicate whether she knew the man or anything like that. So the surveillance footage shows that uh, the brick lady and her friend were with Olin Douglas at the time and they were seen walking toward the TikTok garden lounge. Now they stayed in there for a little while. They came outside and walked toward a white Maserati that was parked directly on the side of the business. They said that uh, Douglas was reportedly seen leaning on the right front passenger door while Osmond walked toward him. According to the charging documents, the surveillance footage shows that Osmond started dancing on Douglas while her friend was in front of the car talking to another man. Now they did get into the vehicle at some point but they got out for some reason and you can see on the surveillance footage according to authorities uh osman and uh olin douglas were in an argument and then douglas reportedly swung his right hand while holding what appeared to be a plastic water bottle and struck miss osman in the face so that's the reason why authorities have charged the brick lady with felony theft by deception they state that it didn't go down the way she said it went down she was not hit by an unknown man it was somebody that she knew and she didn't tell the truth to authorities. And then she also um, started a GoFundMe and took donations under false pretenses. She was indeed hit, but it wasn't with a brick and it wasn't by an unknown person that had asked for her phone number. You see? Yo. This, first of all, this bitch on the lamb. She is she running. fleeing. She running. She is fleeing. Huh? She running. She doing the race. Mm. Like, take care. She doing the race, bro. Why Stop. you running? <laughs> Why you running? You don't want to do the time? You don't want to do the time? For lying? For First. trying to put somebody, put somebody in jail and their reputation and everything, ruin their lives for somebody who did not do anything right. harm to you? It's like, first of all, if you really listen to what happened in the story, she accused multiple different people right. of doing this to her. Only for us to discover that none of what you said was true. And not only is none of what you said true, even the, the, the one thing that we can prove that you were actually hit by, you were hit by a plastic water bottle. That doesn't swell your face like that. Right. So up to now, we don't know what happened to you. Right. Something happened to you. You got hurt and you decided that you would blame all black men and all men because that fit your narrative. Whatever they narrative. they help you. They weren't even there. It's all fake. Right. Whatever narrative you're trying to push, you fabricated this entire story in order to push it. And you're you you're known for having done similar things in the past. Mm -hmm. Pop up with an injury, accuse a black man, start a GoFundMe. This is not the first time you've done this. Right. And it's fucking sick that it took us this many months for you to actually get charged. Because yeah. let's keep it a stat. We all knew you were lying from the beginning. 
The whole story was fucking bullshit from the beginning. Yeah. People popping up saying they know you around town are notorious for picking fights with people and shit like that. Starting altercations. We've seen videos of you doing that. Yet, again, women always want to start a fucking altercation. And then when something happens to you behind that, now you want to pop up and play the victim. I don't get it. Get the fuck out of here. It's like women have to be embarrassed and humiliated to understand that what they're doing to somebody is wrong. And it's just like, you got, again, lack of accountability. You don't wanna, right, in consequences. You don't want to face the consequences and take accountability for the wrong things that you did, for, to, did to somebody. Like, why is it that it takes up until this point for you to have to deal with the consequences to understand that what you're doing to somebody is fucking wrong? But not just that. It's like, just so I, I'm going to start saying this in every single video. These women don't fear God. Yeah. They don't fear consequences. Yeah. She did this shit. This is the second time she's done this. That we know of. She was sure she would get away with it. it. Yep. She was sure that no consequences could possibly fall on a woman who alleges that she's a victim of something done yep. to her by a man. Yep. She thought there's no way that could happen to me. Yep. That's the most audacious part of this situation. And then you want to add on the fact that, so now you get charged with, first of all, these niggas went down in the deep in the law book to get, to get this theory. I haven't seen someone mention something like this since law school. What? Uh, theft by deception, hmm. right? Because that's a, that's a theory of how you did the th the thievery, right? Because mm -hmm. usual thievery is you picking up items that don't belong to you, but mm. you can also do um, theft by trickery. Like for example, like SA sexual assault, you you can do that by trickery. So mm. for example, if there was a situation where a guy had a twin, mm -hmm. and one guy pretended to be the twin and had sex with his wife. Oh, you told me about yes, this. Yes, that's S.A. And that's happened. You told me. Even that. though she was with it, it's because she didn't know who you were. Right. She thought you were a different person. Right. And you perpetrated that fraud upon her. So you're guilty of S.A. by trickery. Oh. So this is a similar situation, right? Where you're guilty of stealing by deception. Because you created a fake story to gem up, drum up sympathy to get people to give you money. Or like uh, falsely like uh, acting as if somebody passed away. I mean, anything. Same thing. Yeah. You made up a story. You tricked people into believing something in order to, a fundamental fact, in order to, to gain money from them. You're guilty. Mm -hmm. And you know you're guilty. That's why your ass is on the run like fucking Tay-K. This shit's fucking ridiculous. Oh, the Bruh, I, I need to see the video, the body cam footage of when they catch up with this bitch. Huh? She went to the local Black Panther party to try and help with her turning herself in because... She scared the police gonna do something to her. I don't know why. Not not in this scenario. Act like you did something to a police and that's what you're being accused of. Nah, you're just being accused of being a dusty little thieving rat. So I don't know why you need the Panthers to protect you. But so she called for them to help her turn herself in and then doesn't turn herself in. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with this bitch, son? Crazy thing after crazy thing after crazy thing. Now she on the lamb. That's for <laughs> This is ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. Take this bitch to the fucking gulag. It's over. Put cuffs on her. I can't wait until they catch her. You're going to see me again. When when, when they catch her, I'm going to make another video about it. And it's going to be hilarious. Quit playing. <laughs>